Zahan one, getting into there. Okay. Listen to the pursuit. Gets into the jab check. This is going to be confirmed. Goes for the pressure from the persona. Set up. Dash backwards, but Coleman defending a lot better. That's the guard cancel right over there. Doesn't get much benefit off of that because Coleman is just pressuring him. Goes into the persona. Oh, goes back. Oh, but that's going to be a stab over here, unfortunately. Oh, that's going to be the cross-up hit off of that. Oh, that was very good slot. Smooth criminal roll. Nice. As we can see, Avarice is in yellow axe right over now, so it's increasing by a little bit. The more that she uses it, apparently the more that it gets the buff. But now we're about to see this full screen confirm. It's going to be a nice 20%. Goes into the call, goes into level one, and then level two. Nice. Again, this is the confirm. Spin backwards. Lovely. Goes, spends the spin to the super right over here, and then goes into the double super. That's going to be a healthy... Look at that damage! Chip off of the full screen bird. Mmm, nice, nice, nice. Avarice did unlock that, you know, extra 50 meter that we were just saying before. Uh, but unfortunately, it wasn't enough to do the job. Had to deal with the neutral control. Nice anti-air. Listen to the projectile throw again. Amazing stuff. Oh, gets into the jab, into the summoning throw, and that's going to be a smooth chunk. Nice consistent confirm. Then we're going to go into the level call. Probably going to get a level two. Yep. That's what a consistent setup that Komi's been doing to there. Nice. Whacking him off the screen. Pressure. Pushes him out of there. Nice. A burst out of that combo, so it does take the persona away, but you know, it's kind of a risky burst because it doesn't take the main character away. So if he would have been cognizant of that, I'm wondering if he actually would have got like a full screen confirm off the projectile. Mm, hits him off of the awkward jumping angle. Ooh, but counter hits him off of the anti-air jumping angle. And that's going to be a full confirm. It's not going to kill, but it's going to put him ahead of the life lead by a significant amount. This is doing a lot of chip. Now he's in red X. So all these X normals, all these heavy hits are going to do a lot of chip. You're going to see who Barber confirms with the Lariat ring out. As we can see, the ding, ding, evening up the rounds. Who's going to be taking this first game at this loser's finals? Going in. Yeah. Oh no, and that push does not work. The reversal, he was just outside of that hitbox and he was able to punish him for there, but goes for it again. Nice. And I can see that move gets him out of trouble at the cost of like using a resource. Nice. Goes in. Ooh, tried to get him pressing a button, but just confirms and this is going to be a chunk of change. And like I said, when he goes off of that super, that does cash in the levels on that axe. So that just did a healthy amount of damage. Okay. Opts not to go into the confirm, but it's down by 70% health, by a lot of health. All right, that hits. Okay, and Koma is sitting on resources, is sitting on levels. It's sitting on ways to confirm off of the persona. Nice, and just follows up the projectile with the persona again. Uh, we going for full screen block strings. I'll dig it. That's what I like to see. All right, jabs over. I'm going to be not overextending on the movement at all. Homa definitely. Oh, de look at that. Spray at level eight. This is dangerous. Oh, gets to confirm off of that. Goes into the full screen. That's going to confirm. Oh, no, but he texts out of it. The, the advantage wasn't enough in order to continue it. Oh, and he smokes that. Smokes the persona and smokes the character. Grappling hook. That's going to put him in. That was dangerous. That wasn't enough to confirm. But he's going in now. And no, that's just the counter again. Why did he go in in that sense? Coleman, uh, not looking as strong as what I thought before. Losing that first game. Coming to me going up. And Gummy has the momentum of playing, uh, having his hands kind of still warm from playing before. I don't know if that's a factor, but Koma has to find some way to, you know, eke out just a little bit more damage, because I definitely see he's getting out damage. It's probably a matchup thing. Evers does a frick ton, especially when he gets her ticks off for her axe. Oh, okay, we got a character switch right over here. So it probably seems like it's a variety and a matchup detail. Of course, Kumi would know better than I, you know, what the details of that matchup would be, but very interesting that he decided to opt for the switch there. 
Alright, what are we about to see in this match? Losers finals. Second match of the game, Cole versus Gumi. And Gompton to go for the U versus Avarice. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah, back on my favorite stage. Night school. Let's go. All right. They may not have the best grades, but uh, I grade them best on, you know, their style and, you know, their ability to lay the smack down against the opponent. Goes for the follow-up with the persona. Okay. Nice. Puts the pressure. Mm. Mm, gets hit with a follow-up. Mm, probably does not probably confirm off of it, but it doesn't hit. All right. Gets smoked. Grappling hook. Goes to the other side. Now, this is a tricky move that Gummy has, uh, but that tricky move doesn't last into anything. That was a short combo into the counter. Uh, it's pretty walkie neutral in a sense. Not as crispy as it confirms that I've seen with his Yukiko on Koma's side. All right. Tries to extend. Goes in. Goes for the jab, confirms. Summon the Persona again, but it doesn't go into a full conversion. That's the push. Confirm into the combo. The Magic Sickles is going to pop him up. That's the green bar for the axe over there. All right. Goes in for the cross-up as he uses the turn mechanic as he was talking about before. Yep. And that's a lot of pressure that can happen off of that. Nice stuff. That's going to go into yellow axe. That's a confirm again. And yep, that's going to smoke up. Nice. Off of the short, short. Into the combo confirm. And go be still up on momentum. All right, stuffs the gap inside of that block string with the DP. Jumping back, trying to establish a point of space. And this is how Koma likes to play. Uh, at, at least like when he knows he has damage as a real estate and his opponent is on the edge and he has the experience to know how Gumi plays because they play a lot in different fighting games. Uh, he goes back and he makes sure that they overextend in place. But nice punish off of that slide mechanic over there, short thing. Goes into the Persona mix up. Grappling hook, pressure, and he blocks all of that. Comfortably so. Oh, gets smoked by the uh, instant air dash into the button. Gets laid down. Oh, and then the reversal hits. Oh, but he burst off of that. Yeah, he needed to. He didn't want to take that damage over there. Kind of kind of not feeling how he wasn't cognizant of uh, his emotional position from there. Blocked the projectile over there. That's some godlike animation over there. Hey, he's just going wait. Oh, but he doesn't get his punish. That's unfortunate. All right, what's he going to do? Uh, hits him off of the jabs. Goes into the diamond. Oh, I would have thought that was an American reset, but then he just safari checks him. He grabs him before the projectile can come out. That was such slick movement that came through over there. We're punished, and that's going to be the round. Koma clapping back with that round over there. Now, this could be anybody's round based on, you know, the progress of the games. It kind of seems like Koma is getting a little bit more set in into what he needs to do with you. But Narukami... Nice. Gets hit off the straight hit, but doesn't get into the confirm. The gummy kind of having a problem trying to get into his former spot, but goes into the persona call. That's his first sign of getting into a comfortable position, but it doesn't work out. Oh man, the reset doesn't work, but the beat into the whip normal actually costs him a little bit of an advantage into the hit as well. Now he's blocking. Now he has to deal with this pressure. Throw tech. Nice anti-air. Oh, and that hit again. Uh, fortunately, he gets counter hit in that same predicament. And the uppercut is good. Burst. Oh, and that's going to stop him. And that's going to be a counter hit confirmed, but it's not going to win as he wants. I think he was trying to bait some form of a burst right there. But that was the burst that he wanted. But Koma thinking better of it to use it in that stance rather than the previous stance. That's going to be the super confirm into the Lariat. Nice jump. 25%. All right. I know how you like to play, sir. Ah, <laughs> uh, gets hit off of the counter. All right, expecting a little bit more. He gets moved. Block spring grappling hook. Jumps backwards. Oh, and he gets hit through that gap again. Tried to go for the uh, the over jump option. Okay. Oh, it gets anticipated with the IAD. I don't know if the dive kick is going to work. Oh, but no, he rolls out of there. And then he gets hit by the second overhead option, and that's going to kill. Koma's going to even up the set one to one. Looks like the character pick was a better option in that sense. you got to be thinking he's got to have a little bit of confidence in what he did in momentum. But at the same time, the games weren't too far apart where I think Gummy needs to be as worrisome. Probably tighten up at some certain spaces. Actually gain the knowledge that, you know, Abris does have points that 
do have gaps that Koma has exposed. And also movement points where I feel like he's getting anticipated with like bad dashes and, and the alike and just getting anticipated and hit into pressure. Hmm, I'd like Koma to like go for like a reversal as often, but. Okay, goes for the Persona release, goes for the dash up, jump backwards into the IAD. Nice. Gets the hit again. The super jump is all it needs, but it doesn't hit as well. Smoked! Nice. Goes into the SmackDown, into the super. Looking raw. Pressure-wise, puts the projectile back in his face. Persona goes in. Nah, nice at the green axe at the moment. Just forced to block. And this looks like very typical pressure right over here. It doesn't look like it's preventing anything scary. Ooh, goes for an early follow-up off the two hits. Nice. Okay. Oh, Chess is him trying to make movement out of there, but goes into a small confirm into the super. This is going to be costing him at least 30%. And they're both, okay, they're both in that red gauge. You know, now uh, Narukami has uh, 50 more, you know, meter at the moment. Goes into Awakening, goes off the burst from Awakening. And it's just the first round, too. Okay. Nice back dashes. Tries to establish space, beats him towards the middle. He has a great sense of, like, where Gummy wants to be and is anticipating him exactly where he's about to press buttons or press his buttons. And he just counter hits him or just gets those hits right before it happens. Good on, good on Koma's awareness. Nice. Smokes him off of the reversal. Oh, and he can play the time game now. That's not enough, and yeah, he just did it over the run-up DP. Taking the round in that sense. Second round. And I'm telling you, you guys are playing, like, time limits into this stuff, man. Nice. Oh, goes into the follow-up off of that counter hit. Very smart stuff. Oh, and that was a jab hit. And there was a little bit of armor that came in the middle of there off that axe. But he just confirmed it to the DP and said, no, I'm not going to take that. Good reaction for him to do that. Oh, I could have anticipated an interrupt, but Koma did condition him a little bit to not press anything off of that conditioning. So It lasted for a lifetime. That was a nice reaction off of that Lariat into the hit. Nice. Koma's just on one. He's just expecting everything. Oh, and he takes out the first as well. He's in the position. Grabs him. Pressure. Plus frames. Claw cancels. Oh, that was a whip DP. That's going to be a punish. It's not a punish because he goes into the... That's not tight. And Koma's going to be taking it up two to one, but that last punish off of the whip DP was not a tight punish. Unfortunately, I don't know if Gumi got a, a cancel into that persona, off into that mix-up. Uh, but it did cost him the game or momentum in that sense, which did eventually lose him the game. Gummy, with not one game to spare anymore, has no games to spare, only a round and a dream. Okay, going into it. Goes into the pressure, grappling hook kicks. I guess he thought it was over, tried to go into it. Back dashes it, gets the whip punish off of the fireball trajectory. Oh, the roll works in this time, and he catches the whip punishing, probably anticipating a jump back. That's why he went for that heavy, that uh, normal over there. All right, gets swept up, goes for the Persona call. And like last time, went for the tech throw, and the throw allows him to ignore the projectile in that sense. Went for that meaty setup. All right, goes in for the block string. This is going to get him into the air combo. Oh, and it takes him out of the corner, though. Goes into the super. But he's stuck in the corner, though. Now he's in Awakening. Has access to 50 more meter. Runs up. Pressure. Goes nice stagger. Oh, and that combo's into the confirm. Nice. Let's wake up. Now, not sitting on enough meter, you know, to make damage consequential, but Koma doesn't have a light enough bar to, like, not get hit by, like, a block string into a combo. Now, both of them are not sitting on that. Oh, but the check off of the jump back in the corner, off of the micro step out of the corner from Gumi. Nice defensive strat. It's going to be the, the round over here for Gumi. Nice. Jump back. Okay, jump in, slams him down. Goes to the OGCG hit as well. Counteractions. Gets hit. Nice pressure in this corner. Goes for the follow-up after the grappling hook. Goes into the super, but it gets blocked and it's a okay, it's a it's a Chicago punish. <laughs> nice. Goes for the safe follow-up after the persona. 
All right, and it's sitting in Red Axe too. So the next hit, especially from low as Coma's light bar is, is going to be going into death because now he has enough super in order to go into it. But he has to defend welcome, he does. Okay. Oh, and that's going to be a punish into a hit. But it's not going to be a full range combo. It's going to be the initial into the turn, but the reversal is going to do it. Nice. Yo, this is some smooth music. <laughs> Nice going into the hit. Nice. Okay. Playing around each other. Well, it's able to block that cross up on that huge air normal. Nice. But the confirm off of the back turn into the jump in. Oh, that was a little cancel over there. Goes into that little low move, cancels it into a little jab pressure. Nice. Probably tried to check him because he probably would have wanted to take his turn back, but Gummy thinking smarter of it. Nice! That's just jab pressure, but decides to burst off of there. It's behind on plenty of health. Alright, goes into the Persona charge. Nice tech throw. Goes for the follow up, but the follow up does whiff. Nice. Miss Green projectile gets the confirm. Small bit, but he does get the whip punish off of that. One more straight hit is going to take it, and Koma is going to be the winner of this set. Is going to go back into grand finals. Nice game plan for both of them. Slow, methodical stuff. Koma doing very good, feeling good about himself and everything. You can see it in him. Trust me, this isn't the final form of the Coma pop-off, but as we're going back into it, um, very good stuff progressively. Uh, as you can see, Alistair's going back into the stage. So this is going to be a rematch for our winner's finals. It's going to be normal Alistair versus Coma. So it looks like we might go back into the regular matchup, or there might be the character switch that we had here for Coma. Again, not too familiar with the strat going into it, but we did see Minazuki versus Yukiko going before. I don't know if he's going to stick with the 